Hello everybody and welcome to hole number 4 of the Maple Bay in the Winter Major Tournament. You can find this course on tour number 5, the World Links. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. Let's go! I'm going to show you two type of approaches here on this one as well. One in, in headwind, one in tailwind. And you can maybe spot where I'm going to go when we have tailwind. But in headwind it's too hard to go to that spot. So we're going to be okay and just play this one with a basic ball. We're gonna play it there on the right. Look at the ball guy line now. The further we adjust towards the sand, rough in the sand, the lower bounce we're going to have, which is going to mean that the ball is going to hit the rough in many of the cases. I would like you to aim on the top part there of, on the fairway. And if you can, use more top spin than I'm having here so you have no problem to reach over. The fairway on the other side is going to be slightly uphill, like you're going to have a slope. So the ball is going to roll up and fall back down again. So you're not going to have to be afraid to come, go long. But now the only thing that we're looking for here is to get over there with our basic ball. Not the ultimate situation of course, but it's enough. So, and drive, so I'm not forgetting to say that the drive is downhill. I played downhill 10%, works good. Uh, this is actually one of the holes that I've been getting a lot when I've been playing, so that's uh, awesome. And now for the second shot, we're going to prepare ourselves for a nice little rough bump. Everybody loves a rough bump! <laughs> Our opponent does the same, getting over nicely. We do uh, have the same type of situation here, both of us. So you will see me now being almost in between clubs uh, when it comes to having a wood club and a long iron. And that is because we do have a basic ball and we're also at tailwind. So in this case, I would say like you can still play with a basic ball if you want to. Uh, but you can also play with a more a ball with more power if you still want to go rough bump with the long iron instead. The risk you take with, um, with tailwind on this one is that you're going to be in between clubs. So I'm going to play this one 2.8 rings, or like 2.4, 2.5, sorry. No top spin, no back spin. Just aim for the rough and get it in the hole. Lovely, we take the back of the cup there, roll in for an eagle. I'm not using any like downhill or uphill approach for that shot, I'm just playing it as it is. So, this was the first version of hole number four. And we're going to focus on the next one here. And the next one is when we do have some tailwind. And with some tailwind, we're going to actually try to go, go for green. I know it might going to be a little bit risky, but the thing is, I would like to take that risk. I'm not going to play with a berserker here because if we're playing rookie, we most likely not have a berserker. But if we do have been getting some from the golden shot, then play with a berserker. That's okay. I'm going max top spin here, and I'm going one bar side spin to the right. The side spin you can uh, you can decide yourself a little bit because we can use different variables of side spin. But the top spin is going to be max because we do want to hit the rough and then roll out. We do have to go with max overpower. And now I hit it great and I'm going to uh, unfortunately get into the sand to roll up into the rough. Rough iron from this area is okay though. It's okay for me. I, you know, if I could choose from having a rough iron this close to the pin or having a wood club from distance as I had the last time, then I would pick a rough iron all day and every day from that. But the important part is play with a ball with enough power so you can reach over there. But you could also see... That worst case scenario, if you hit the great left, great right, or even good, you will still reach over, but you're going to be in the rough or into the sand. So it's not that you have a bunch of water on the sides, which would be very scary. In the best case scenario, you're going to hit the rough and roll out to either be close to the pin, or being on the green, or being on the fairway. So, this was two versions, two ways to play hole number four. And if you do have any more questions about hole number four of the Maple Bay, please let me know in the comment section below. Check out patreon.com slash golfclashtommy to get the text guide for the Maple Bay course. Also, the video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. Good luck in the Winter Major.